good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. In a previous upload I showed you how to create a pivot table. I directed that particular upload to learners. Um, hopefully you've practiced and uh, found some value in the way to create a pivot table which is a way of analyzing data. But what we're going to do this time is to invoke some of the magic of Excel. We're going to create a pivot chart. So what I'm going to do is to click somewhere in the data and I'm going to insert another pivot table and this time I'm going to put the salesperson in the rows, the quantities in the values and the extended prices also in the values. Remember the values box down here is reserved for numbers. Now what I'm going to do is to close the pivot table field list because I want a little more room over here for my chart. There is an easy way to create a pivot chart and the beauty about pivot charts as we'll see is that I can filter the information. So I'm going to click somewhere in the pivot uh, table and choose insert. We'll choose a column, two dimensional column and there we are. Very, very easy. I'll make it bigger by pointing at the corner and dragging down and there I see my uh, my chart with the names of the salespeople and the various uh, numbers involved with them. Uh, what if I wanted to chart however uh, not everybody against everybody but just we'll say Margaret Peacock against Nancy Devolio. How do they stack up against each other? Remembering you're the sales manager, you want to analyze the data and see how things are going. So we'll click OK and there are the two. And I can see that, uh, um, that, that Margaret Peacock, this person here, uh, has uh, certainly uh, exceeded uh, the, the uh, sales for Nancy Devolio. Notice how I'm hovering my mouse uh, to get information that I need for analysis sake. So we'll remove the filter to go back to everybody by clicking select all and OK. And the problem I see is this, that the sum of the quantities is very hard to calculate what the actual number is. So there's an easy way around this. I'm going to create a secondary axis over here so that I can compare uh, the the sum of the quantities that each of the salespeople have sold uh, by creating something more easily readable than what we have here. So I'm going to click on the series that I want to change. Then I'll right click on that series and format the data series. And I'll simply choose secondary axis. Folks, it's as easy as that. Now I'll close. And there is my pivot chart now with uh, the numbers easily readable with the sum of the extended prices up here in red and the sum of the quantities over here in blue. So nothing too hard about it. Uh, it's, it's all a matter of practice. Uh, again, I always say that to you and uh, you will soon master it. But remember that the insert chart command uh, makes life very easy when it comes to inserting pivot charts. And incidentally what I can do in this chart even though it's based on a pivot table is exactly the same as I can do in a normal chart in that I have when I click in the chart I have the pivot chart tools, the chart tools available here for desi <coughs> design if I don't like the colors I can click that one. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I'll be uploading um, uh, a video shortly which will handle all of the things that you know that you need to know about charts. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.